here's my end stops. There it goes. There we go. Turn that. X, Y. I don't have one on Z. Don't need it. So I hit X home. It does its home thing. I hit Y home. And it'll do its thing once it does that. So there's my known good zero zero. And that little mark right there, that's my what I'm calling center for what I'm gonna cut. So I need to get to that. So normally I would just, you know, jog him over to where my center is, which I think that was too far. Pretty close there. Um, I'd go over get to there, and then there. I've already done this part. So 377 and 305 is my new center, or where it's going to be the center. So. There you go. And then I gotta jog my Z down one millimeter at a time. So I just do that until I just touch the top of the surface of the wood. Right there is good. So now, there's where I want my new Z to be, which I've written down the X and the Y because those are the only two that really matter because your Z is going to change depending on which bit you use. So then I've got the script here, which is my set new zero. So I click, and there's my new zero. And that script is under config. I think printer settings, scripts, script number one, which basically just says use a G92, X0, Y0, Z0. Reset your Z's, your, your zeros. So now, no matter what bit I put in, if I home everything back to my end stops, go back to X377, Y305, it's always gonna put the bit right there minus the Z. You're gonna have to redo your Z ah, no matter what because your bits will probably not be the same height. So now I can start cutting after I put my dust shoe back on. Oh and one more thing for the people that are gonna ask well how do you know where you can move your Z to? That's how I know. If I go I think it's about 10 millimeters farther past that line on my holy crap stop it uncouples from the nut so I just don't ever go higher than that so I don't really need a Z end stop 